Hello everyone, I hope you are all having an amazing day. I'm Dorothea from Krobe Patterns and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable baby headband. We will be using very basic crochet stitches which will give us this beautiful crochet stitch pattern that you can see here. The size presented in the tutorial is 0 to 6 months, but the pattern itself can be easily adjustable for bigger sizes as well. I would just like to let you know that you can find the pattern for crochet headband in the size 0 to 6 months on my blog as free written pattern and that you can also find an inexpensive beautifully designed PDF pattern for this headband in my Etsy and Reverly shop. This particular pattern is available in all sizes from newborn up to adult size, so if you end up buying this crochet pattern Thank you so much, it really means a lot. For this tutorial I was using 100% cotton yarn in worsted weight. I went with a dark pink but you can choose any color you like. Then you will need 4.5mm or number 7 in the US crochet hook, pair of scissors, one stitch marker and a yarn needle. Let's start crocheting. We will start off by creating a slip knot. Cross the yarn and pull the yarn through the loop. Tighten the knot and insert the crochet hook. Now I will chain 48. If you would like to make a headband that is bigger than mine, continue adding chains in pair of two to achieve the desired length. The length of the chain represents the circumference of the hat. So yarn over and pull the loop through to create a chain. Now that you have the number of chains you need, join the chain with a slip stitch. Make sure you don't twist the chain. Then insert the hook into the very last chain of the foundation chain. Yarn over and pull the loop through both loops, first through the last chain and then through the loop on your crochet hook. Now that foundation chain is joined, chain 1. Now work one single crochet into the very first stitch of the round. So insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over, pull the loop through, now you have two loops on your crochet hook, yarn over again and pull the loop through both loops on your crochet hook, and that's it, your first stitch. We call this stitch single crochet stitch. Don't forget to insert the marker. The next one is a bit different, so yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, Yarn over, pull the loop through, now you have 3 loops on your crochet hook. Now yarn over and pull the loop through first 2 loops on your crochet hook. Now yarn over and pull the loop through the remaining 2 loops on your crochet hook. We call this stitch double crochet stitch. From now on, continue repeating one single crochet into the first one, one double crochet into the next one, all the way to the end of the round. In my case, that will be 23 more times. You can pause the video here and meet me back when you are almost done with this round. I will show you how to end this round and how to start the next one. 2 stitches left, work 1 single crochet into the first one and 1 double crochet into the next one.
Make sure you skip the slip stitch from the previous round and join this round with a new slip stitch. Your first round is now done. Round 2 is a little bit different than round 1, but just a little bit. First off, chain 2 to lift the round. Start in the very first stitch of the round and create a double crochet stitch. Insert the marker. Now work one single crochet into the next one. Continue repeating one double crochet into the first one, one single crochet into the next one, all the way to the end of the round. In my case that would be 23 more times. So that would be one double crochet stitch into each single crochet from the previous round and one single crochet into each double crochet from the previous round. Working single crochet and double crochet stitches would give us this very interesting stitch pattern. But please be careful when you are counting rounds, I would recommend you marking each finish round on a piece of paper or digital counter as you go because it's very hard to define rounds later if you would like to count them all at once. So continue repeating one double crochet, one single crochet all the way to the end of the round. You can pause the video here and meet me back when you are two stitches before the end. I will show you how to end the round and continue with the pattern. We are almost at the end of round 2, 2 stitches to go, 1 double crochet into the first one and 1 single crochet into the very last stitch of this round. We will skip the slip stitch from the previous round and we will join this round with a new slip stitch. So from now on is just repeating round 1 and round 2. Round 1 starts with chain 1 and then repeating single crochet into the first one and double crochet into the next one all the way to the end of the round and then join the round with a slip stitch. Round 2 starts with chain 2 and then work one double crochet into the first one and one single crochet into the next one all the way to the end of the round and then you join the round with a slip stitch. I will repeat round 1 and round 2 3 more times and on top of that I will add one additional round and that would be round 1. That would mean that I will have 9 rounds in total. So my work started with round 1 and because I will add this one additional round it will also end with round 1. You can continue adding rounds 1 and 2 to achieve the desired size of your headband. You can pause the video here and meet me back when you are done. You can also go back and rewatch how to make round 1 and 2 as many times as you need to successfully finish all the rounds in your headband. Here we are in our final round, ending our last stitch. Now join the round with a slip stitch, cut the yarn and pull the loop through. This is my headband with all 9 rounds of single crochet and double crochet stitches. The stitch pattern is very beautiful on both sides, so you can choose the side you prefer. I will stay with the side that was on the outer side of the headband, so the side that was facing us when we were crocheting. Before you start gathering the fabric and sewing it together, make sure you hide all the tails. Find the part of the headband with a seam of slip stitches, that is the part where we were joining rounds. Now bend the headband two times, 
Take a small amount of yarn and a needle and start sewing. When the fabric is nicely secured, start wrapping the remaining yarn tail around the fold. Make a knot with the help of the other end of the yarn and hide both ends between the stitches. You are done! If you want, you can decorate your headband with a button or a small bow to make it even more cute and special. Ok guys, that would be all for today. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and click on a little bell button to get notifications when I post something new. If you decide to make a headband or use any of my patterns, make sure you share your work with me on Instagram using hashtag groovypatterns. You guys are super talented and I really enjoy watching your work and see how creative you all are. Please share with me what would you like to see next in the comments below, as well as if you have any questions or personal tips that you would like to share with us. Thank you so much to all of you who are buying my crochet patterns. You guys are awesome and you guys are the reason I can film and write new crochet patterns, buy new yarn and do what I love to do so much. So thank you. Have a wonderful day, happy crocheting and until next time, bye!